Yeah, you see that? And you see me? I'm currently running for my life because my tasty cinnamon buns are about to get violated. Yeah, that's art for you, and nothing ever goes the way you want it to. That's why you're watching me Dude, run for my life while this dino comes after my tasty, tasty sweet cheeks. There's many things that want to get a little taste of my buns in this world, as Nephis, the creator of Arc Transcends, has pulled no punches in making this mod. And I have 100 days to beat it, so you'll see me running from a lot of things. But let's start this all over, and I'm going to introduce you to Beach One Bob Slime on the center. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Leave a comment letting me know what other mods there are that I can play, and if you want to join in on my adventures, make sure to join the Discord. Now, say hi to Beach Bob Slime, but don't worry, I won't stay a Beach Bob for long. Literally, the first thing I see is a dodo with a halo, and this thing looks sick. But of course, that beautiful dodo didn't last forever because a fire dillo came out of nowhere and killed, dropping something called halos, and when it got mined, it gave me Oregonus DNA and damage high. This beach was pretty dang dangerous, so I swam to the nearest vacant island and started to build my shack. I also made transcendence tools, which harvest two times more. But my game was running real slow, so I spent actually, some time looking over my settings to see if I can fix it. Once I thought I got to a stable point, I went mining for some resources to test out the setting. Now I'm getting like 30 frames per second consistently with downward spikes every 30 seconds. And I know this game is so poorly optimized, it's kind of crazy. But this was really running terrible, and it looked like crap. So I kind of spent the rest of the day just trying to fix my setting and it took a while but i was getting way more fps the only fall is shadows look horrible like a blackout blur but i don't know if it's the center making it look like this or this beach so for the sake of my eyesight i'm gonna try to quickly abandon this shack i found a parasaur that i persuaded to come back with me then found another that was bleeding out so i finished it off and the naraka dillo that was beating on it i got some naraka dna and more damage high. Made a parasaur saddle and resource gathering, then made a bow and some arrows and hunting down some more Naraka parasaurs roaming around my hut. Now, after that quick succession of dopamine, I immediately went to the Ingram list to figure out what level I needed to be for metal. It looks like I need three more levels, so time for me to kill more creatures. I killed the Naraka PT, but I'm not gonna lie, it scared me by playing some random boss music. It did give me like four levels, so I'll forgive it for now. Then made a refining forge, an AA bench, a smithy, so that I can get some metal tools, which now, looking back, was probably a bad idea. The transcendent stuff gives two times the resources, so I really didn't need metal pickaxe. You know what I do need? A spyglass. So I knocked out a PT so that when I am high enough level to saddle it, I can look for some resources. Right now, my focus is on leveling up so any and all living creatures say goodbye to your cheeks, because I'm taking them. I was doing pretty well till a group of raptors came up on me trying to holla at the kid, but I managed to get away. Then tried to visit my neighboring island till I hopped in the water and see the ugliest little fish I've ever seen. Looked like a salmon and an angler fish, got the nasty on, and gave birth to it. And it looks lethal, so I noped out of there. Went back and built a fire pit to rope some weenies. Then saw a turtle on the other side, so I had to take the rest across. Luckily, the fish didn't bother me and I cleared out the island of all of the dinos, allowing me to level up enough for a transcendent workbench and metal gear. Since I needed a bunch of metal for the bench, I went mining for the little rocks all night. I also met up with someone on the server who gave me a spyglass. Thank you. Right after, I went into a battle for Turtle only to lose my para and almost my PT. Dangerous times, man. Luckily, I was able to whistle my PT away and finish off the turtle. Made a spoiling bin, transcendent bench, and a PT saddle, finally. Gotta say though, I love the look of the transcendent bench. Made some trank arrows, then I got shown where I can get some resources in this map. Because it's been a hot minute since I've played, so it was very helpful. Stole some cementing paste from a beaver dam, and asked for some hints as to where I can get organic poly. Apparently there's a lot by Green Ob, so I'll be heading there soon, but first I will need to upgrade my club. I've never used a club to harvest organic polymer before, but let's see how it goes. I tamed two moss shops so I can gather fiber on the way back. That ugly looking fish robbed Dude, it from it. under me and swam away with both of them. It even got my PT. Luckily, I got my PT free, headed off to save my mod shop. One was buried underwater, so I didn't focus on it because I knew he was a gun. And my highest level one was getting bodied on the surface. So I kept beating away at the fish till it let go and led the moss moss back to shore so that I can gather some fiber and just kind of left it there. I honestly don't remember what I did with it. It probably died since it was so low on health, but it served its job, which allowed me to upgrade the club. And so then I headed off straight for the ice spot. Finally made it. And boy, was I not disappointed. Penguins everywhere. Did some testing and clubs really are better for harvesting. 
Then I kidnapped some orphans and found a Nova walking around. He is now my friend. Did this till I had close to like 500 organic poly and headed home. And I just realized I could have been crafted a TP, which was needed because having to fly back to base was a pain. I made an egg collector, a TP, a TP remote, a dino storage, and went resource gathering for DNA fuser, which requires a ton of metal. Now I put it all to smelt and while I waited, I tamed the dodo, integrated her into the egg layer and just waited. Once I had enough metal, it was time to make the DNA fuser. The infuser said it needed to be powered, so I'm a bit confused on how. It shows three icons though, one being blood, so maybe I just have to give it some blood. I extract some blood with a syringe and put it inside. Still didn't work. So I probably need a generator. And turns out I was right. It was just waiting for some power. It's kind of like me in the morning, just waiting for my coffee. It started to fuse the hide immediately once I put the gen down. Now we're cooking with gas, literally. Made some metal tools and some kibble. Found an Araka PT right next to base and it was a level 140, so yeah, it's mine now. I also tamed the Uranus Para. Now looking back at my notes, it's probably not pronounced Uranus. I don't know what the exact name is, but let's be mature here guys if it is probably like Uranus, but because I usually write my notes super sleep deprived, put Uranus. But that one was for egg. Made some more kibble, a crossbow, then decked it out at the upgrade Don't stage. And finally some fallen angelic arrows. Know. Knocked out a Rex with some help. Too bad I can't ride it yet because of my level. Then saw a couple more Rexes on the map and decided to breed them together so we can get some good tame. Tamed some penguins to start a farm and made the blood generator. Then night hit and it was time to breed the Rexes. While the Rexes bred, I decided to raid some beaver dams. Placed a TP at penguin spot and tamed a bit more penguins. Then made a rifle, turned it into a blueprint so that when I get a mine wipe, I can spec it into a good one. Tamed another Nova. Honestly, spent a lot of time just doing random things to get my level up. I knocked out a max level Uranus Carno, but someone else, Spino, killed it while they were in the middle of dropping it. So instead, I just proud to be killing whatever I could for resources. Tamed some dodos for eggs, made an air conditioner, then hatched the egg. Tamed the Morocco Carno, and then used it to kill everything till I was high enough level for a Rex app. I did manage to find an Alpha Carno, which put me over the needed levels and an Enraged Shiny Spino. Now this thing is a tank, well over 130,000 health. The sucky part is you can't ride Enraged creatures, but still you can put it on the front line to tank, or at least I thought that till I sunk two arrows into its cheeks and nothing happened. Fortunately, you can't even tame them at all. Re-IP. Now, I Winnie the Pooh, a beehive, and stole its queen so I can have fresh honey every day. Made an industrial pot for a mine wipe to finally make the rifle, but didn't have the resources, so instead, I went on a metal run. When I got back on the server, it was already nighttime, which means I really didn't get much done. All I managed to do was set up a greenhouse and help someone tame a Rex by acting as bait. Now, I tamed another Moss Shops and went fiber gathering, then stumbled on a max level shiny Spino called Stalwart Punk. Uranius. Wow, that's a mouthful. And now we wait. Yeah, you see that mesh it up top? I finally tamed it. Don't know what its abilities are, but it's time to test it out. And it's not bad at all. It's doing some really good damage and it allowed me kill time till my Rexes were grown so I could take on the first boss. But it took a hot minute. So to pass the time, I just went around killing things with my Spino and Rex. Honestly, I got sick of waiting and decided to try my luck with what I had. To make things easier, I made an alliance with somebody else and we both went after the sheep boss which was called Seraphine the Angelic. Now we did a little taste test first to see how much we hit for it. Now my carnal instantly got bodied. My Rex on the other hand was doing I, but it would just take far too long to kill it by itself. And the torque was getting pretty high on my Rex, so I had to just cut my losses and leave. It was time to find a new method. I tried mind wiping to craft a better long neck rifle and a Rex saddle, only to be disappointed. Like every time I look in the mirror, it only had like 10% more damage than it was terrible. So I attempted to upgrade it, even if I knew it would cost me more resources. I settled for 286. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Crafted some tranks and then went looking for a stronger tank. I found a Nightmare Yudi that only needed regular stuff to tame, but it honestly looked like it might have been a bug, so I just went back to base to breed some more. While they did the nasty, I went out resource gathering. I'm talking berries, iron, you name it, and I went to get it. Do I need some toilet paper? Probably, because I'm about to crap on my ops. Nah, seriously though, I spent a lot of time resource gathering. Now, I blame this damn maturity speed. I don't put it up 10 times, but for some reason, it still takes forever. So all I did was gather. My Rexes are done growing, so it was time to take on the sheep boss. Now this was risky, as a lot of my newly bred dinos didn't have max health. But 
quantity over quality and it went exactly how you would think the ut we were using was killed immediately then my rexes followed so i threw out even more rexes but again they had no help so after 20 rex deaths i went to retain a new ut but taking on two sheep was too much so we had to separate them and decided to go after the lower level one. We got them split up and my mate put one in timeout by trapping it in the corner. I eventually used the UD and just put some fire pits down, took a seat and watched the live action of my Rex tearing into that sheep. Once they killed it, I unlocked Nightmare Kibble. I also got a Uranius boss trophy, which says it's to evolve creatures. This is great because that Novi team they wow back is an evil. But now I have a bit of a problem. I have too many Rexes. So I go back to the sheep up top and just start chucking them at it. Before I knew it, I kind of had this thing low and killed it, but I still had some spam. However, I didn't have enough to take on the boss, so I checked my inventory and I got two wool balls plus a ton of naraka resource i organize my base make some nightmaric blood make a kibble and turn my long neck rifle into a blueprint which in hindsight was a silly mistake since i needed like 4.5k to remake it and i'm a broke boy so i had to borrow some metal and make a new long neck rifle to only get four percent more that's insane i'd have better luck upgrading i also had like 3k crafting skill man how did i only get four somebody tell me the math on that i want the actual calculation right now because this is impossible to get my frustration out i tried taming a reaper for a couple of days but it just added to the stress since it took way too long i had too many deaths and i just considered it not worth it so instead i went to the nightmare theory put it on timeout shoved some kibble up its pie hole and he became my friend after now it was time to find him a partner because my boy was looking real lonely kind of like me only life was as easy as it is in the game to find a mate because i quickly not out his girlfriend and made them mate for a while have fun you guys when i got back i had a couple of eggs to pop then waited for them all to mature and heal up, which with my settings took forever so resource gathering it was now since it's been a minute since i last logged on i ran out of gas olina and i needed oil to make more i don't even know where oil spawns so i just gathered metal while looking up spawn location i went to one of the locations on the map but all i could find was silica pearls and i don't mind if i do the map told me to travel to another location further inland which i had to hope actually had oil rocks close to the surface but then i remembered i didn't even need the map since i had a tp by penguin biome and there's oil there hey before you mock me in my defense like i said previously it's been a while since i've been on collected up some oils and went back to base to wait for my babies to grow up and to find a doubt i also needed the health to max out so i decided to update base in the meantime now after base was done i had to give myself a dope look knowing how to dress yourself is the most important part of this game i would know i have well over 2,000 hours in her. Now I had done everything I wanted to do. The only thing was to wait till the dinos healed themselves. Because of how long this process is, I'm actually gonna try not to lose these ones. Before, I just let my Rexes go with little health because I had a ton of them. But this time, I'm gonna have to be careful. I do not want to hatch a new batch of fairies and have to feed these hungry, hungry hippos again. So I saddled up a couple of fairies and go out looking for a nightmare broodmother which is the next boss i found one but it was a legit submerged in the swamp i hop in the water and nothing but things that want to kill me were in there i quickly grapple away and onto a rock where i start to prepare for the first wave now crossing the ocean i lose like two rexes thanks to a gang of piranhas i had to saddle a theory just to clear them out and finally i get to the spot in the water where my short ass can stand kind of reminding me of real life not gonna lie now i'm barely above water just able to breathe i start throwing out my army again and they are dealing damage eventually dropping the spider's health down to like eight mil but unfortunately i died thanks to a stray bullet now i go back and this guy's health is at like seven mil nice but as i check my arsenal i barely have any there is left his damn explosion ability makes quick work of the creatures i had left it was like sending pigs to the slot leaving me with nothing i should have known quantity over quality they don't need saddles or to have high stats i just need a ton of them so here goes a little asmr for y'all you're welcome the question is how am i gonna feed all these hungry hungry hippos and the answer is Bronto Lee is gonna have to get to work. And before you ask, no, I never officially named him that. You have an issue with that? Well, that's too damn bad! Anyway, it was pretty much rinse and repeat. I breed, hatch, let them grow up, and fed them on repeat. 
till my arsenal was looking nice. I spot a Rooney the Arch Magister chilling by my base. So I made a mental note of where it was since he wasn't my enemy just yet. It was that Spider Queen and best believe I'm coming for those spider cheeks. And once I find it, I get a little active with it. A full two days and nights go by and basically I'm out of dino. While this mother trucking queen spider has half her health left. And I had a massive army. I'm talking well over 100 dinos. And it cut through it like hot knife through butter. I lost everything. I had more babies growing in the background, but the rates aren't fast enough. So I had to increase them or I wouldn't be able to retake it on. Now I'm frustrated beyond belief right now. I have to grind again and probably come at this with a different strat. That explosive damage is so lethal and it's time to figure out a new angle to attack this thing with. After days of contemplation, frustration, anger, and just general animosity for this damn game. I decided to tame a pair of mammoths to breed them up and hopefully they would soak up the damage. So I set them up to breed and just waited. Once it felt like I had enough in my arsenal, I saddled some up and put armor on them. Now I won't let Hubris get the best of me this time. Track down the lowest level spider queen I can see, place a TP down in case I die so I don't have to fly all the way back and got mentally wrecked. If I lose again, there's no way to accomplish this mod in the amount of time that's left. I have no resources left thanks to the saddles and armor platings. No time to breed another massive army even though I boosted the crap out of maturity and gestation. So wish me luck boys. Now I waited till morning so I could see my ops better before attacking. So I was on land and got a nice little peek to summon my guys from. However the lag was so strong and I kept having issues summoning, eventually I died in TP. Now I tried again with the massive lag when pulling out the Omega storage and actually summoning the diamonds made it impossible. I restarted the server in hopes that it would get better cause yeah I was guaranteed to lose if I continued on like that. But when the server came back on, Dino White, just my luck. Now I have to wait some more. I waited by testing out some theories on my tribute Dino. It's the Dino Nephis the mod creator created for me. His name is Athena, tribute of the Trojan. In honor of my dog who is still alive to this day, but will now forever be immortalized even after she's gone. And low key, my creature was doing a lot of damage. I might not be confident in taking on the queen, but I think I can take out one of these Athenas pretty easily. And if I'm not mistaken, if you beat one of these, you get a tribute to use to summon your own. So if I have one of these plus a decent amount of my fairy army, I think it's possible to take on that spider queen. I kited an Athena away and made an attack on Utility Anki, which is another tribute dino. But both were barely dealing any damage to each other. So I decided to throw some dinos into the mix to help this fight go. But even with saddle and armor, my theory was taking like 2k damage from that Anki. So yeah, no, we called them and just watched. At this rate, it would take days before this fight finished. But luckily, I had days to wait since I had to wait for a a new spider queen of low level to spawn. Plus I managed to get like three or four Athenas attacking that Anki all level. So I was pretty proud of myself. Now we wait. This is also kind of beneficial to me as I have my theories mating. So eggs will be plentiful when I get back. Built a little shack with a fire pit so I didn't die to hypothermia and went to watch a movie. I actually didn't even realize how many days had passed till editing this. When I came back, it was finally low on health and I didn't know if I needed to contribute to his death before getting the spoil. So I threw a couple of theories out. Now the lag is still happening. So I'm under the assumption it's based on the amount of creatures in my story. So letting a couple of these theories die will actually solve that problem. When it died, I unlocked a awakening token from it. So this ended up kind of being a waste because I don't have the resources to make. And plus that was like five days and nights just gone. I TP to a teleporter to pick up and look for a new queen. When I stumbled across a snail that just looked at me wrong. So I knocked it out and made it my slave. Those guys produce cementing paste. So it's good to have. Decided to knock out a reaper to serve as a tank. At least I tried to before it went underground and it wouldn't come back up. Now I wasted a lot of my resources on those nightmare tranks without anything in return so that's great but patience is key as eventually it resurfaced and i knocked it out i also realized that i added a mod called crazy crazy potions and it has an allowed breeding potion so i can literally mass breed reapers oh happy day if i don't win during this next fight i think i'm gonna mass breed these reapers but before i even consider doing that this guy needs some levels and I forgot to record, but I went looking for a Alpha Carno, pretty quick fight, made some heals, and then looked for a low level Spider Queen. Found one, and damn, I was dealing damage with my Reaper. And he was doing a great job. But then another one decided to join. So I had to spend the night luring it away. While luring it away, another two decided to grace me with their presence. Yeah. Did I mention Nephis was a sadist? This, this, this is what I mean right here, okay? I literally could not pry them apart. 
they were just grouped up together in a quarter gossiping about some boys. Lured it away only for another spider to come out of nowhere. Now this one I can't blame because it must have been attracted by my musk. But either way, I lured it away just to have it fall to another one of its kind, which forced me to take even more time, split them up, lure one away and isolate it from its friends. And also I can shoot my shot. Finally, killing after so many hours, after so many days, after so many heartbreaks, it's finally time to move on to the next tier. And I had to move quickly, otherwise I'd have no time for the rest of this mod. So I quickly <laughs> tamed a Cloud RG, which is currently a work in progress, but I needed it for the next tier of kibble, which is arcane. So I put it in the egg layer and we will forget about that tier for now. Now, while I waited, I went out on my theory to collect DNA and tamed an arcane Anki for resource gathering. Now I went resource gathering so I wouldn't be broke like in real life. If this is a game, I should at least live my dream of being rich in it, okay? And this Anki was game changer. He was getting like 1400 per metal rock. This will probably be the last run I'll ever need within these last 100 days. Set all that metal up to cook and went looking for a max level Nova. I can upgrade these little guys and I kind of want to see what they turn into. So once I tamed it, I looked at its upgrade requirements and apparently the thing I'm missing is a Naraka King's head. Yeah, you got me there chief. I have no idea what drops that. So I went around killing things till I found my Goldilocks. The Nova I killed was too hot to drop it. This Reaper was a little too cold, but this boss with the name Naraka King was just right, obviously. Now to start off this fight, I used my reject theories to test it out first, and they were doing a decent job. I've been wanting to kill them off for the longest time, so honestly this fight works out perfectly for me. I kept dying, which is the downfall of having to run on foot, and your best armor being a bit better than cloth. But once my reject squad died, I started to throw in my real hitters, theories that have seen some things. These are the ones that dealt with that nightmare of a queen. Kinda makes sense why she's called Nightmaric now. And this fight ended up being a lot longer than I initially anticipated as well. Reapers just take so much reduced damage, it's insane. I whittled down his health till finally it was done and I had a Naraka King head. Now it was time to upgrade my Nova. Just missing DNA, so it was time for a quick stroll with my theory. Finally got enough to upgrade, watch it happen but nothing changed only got a halo around its head. Now I checked its inventory and there's a stage 3 so I'll try that. It also looked like the health took a massive debuff. It went from 4k to 2k on stage 2 and on stage 3 it went to 1k. Now according to Nephis only stage 6 gets a boost and I won't be reaching that in these 100 days. Made some arcane kibble and tranks and went taming for a rex. Tamed a pair and took them back to base so they can make me a baby army. Now I let them cook up for a while and just afk so I could come back to a mountain of babies. And when I came back, best believe I was greeted with an army of skeleton rexes. It was beautiful. I made some EXP potions, saddles, and I lost all the armors that I made, so I'll ignore those for now. And I was ready for the boss. Went searching for it, but found out it was a water boss. It was Rooney the Arch Magister that we had saw previously. So yeah, my strat of using rexes is now gone. I'll need to tame a water arcane to deal all that damage. But since I had put in so much effort to tame these Rexes, I'm gonna take them out and test them on an Athena. And honestly, it's about time considering this dino's a tribute to me, you know, the kid was named after one of my dogs. It's only fitting that I finally get one unlocked. And it wasn't a hard fight, she was kinda tanky, but didn't deal much damage. Couple of theories and Rexes for some power shots and it's a piece of cake. All I saw were damage numbers, which was a change to see. Honestly felt a little weird killing it, but I did it in the hopes of getting my own. Now once died, nothing happened. I looked into the engrams and I didn't see any tribute token like the Yankee. So now I'm confused. I think maybe it dropped something and one of my dinos picked it up. So I spent the next 10-15 minutes searching through their inventories and I couldn't find anything. I did manage to find an arcane golem and I tried to take it on with a couple of leveled up rexes with saddles but nope one attack pretty much demolished my rex's health and they barely did 1k damage to it I, so I bailed I would lose my entire army and I just still wouldn't be confident that I could actually even take out half its health before I lose everything so instead I continued my original purpose of looking for an arcane water tan but honestly couldn't see anything of value now I did see that a mosasaur can spawn, yet none of them wanted to grace me with their presence. So I went after an electric eel. Sadly, they aren't the way to take on 
Rooney because a level 130 only had about 30k health. So it looks like I'm stuck waiting till a Mosasaur spawns. While waiting, I did look over the spawns one more time and I saw a Spino. I just need to wait till one spawns in. So now we wait. But still nothing. I don't think I'll be able to tame a water creature in breeding army with the remaining time. So I'm just going to have to try it on with the Rexes I have. Had to find one that was close enough to land to stick my Rexes on. Now I find a nice little island with a Rooney right next to it. And it was time to get to work. Literally shredding it. 5 mil dropped in the time it took me to write my note. Compared to the other fights, that literally took me days in game. This one ended in less than 30 minutes. I put my feet up and just watched. Once it died, I, I got Tribute Kibble, Ingram Unlocked, and an Arcane Ball trophy did notice some things for my next level but i haven't been able to level up in ages i've been stuck on level 99 level 100 has a couple of cool looking things that i want to find out what they do now it's time to power level till i reach level 100 but night on my 100th day was quickly approaching and i'm still far from level 100 so why don't you guys just enjoy these racks of chomping on my athena the chosen my favorite dino of this mod to end the 100 days